and blah, blah, blah. Bruh. My camera's full, so I have to use my phone to vlog the rest of today. Good morning. A fun-filled day, so I thought I would take you along with me. Usually I have, I think, a double dance rehearsal, but because today is Super Bowl Sunday, my night rehearsal got moved to the morning, and we're actually going to be bedazzling our costume for our show. And I also assist the director for that, so I have to go pick up coffee and breakfast for all of us to eat while we're there. I got assisting to do and dance rehearsal, and then, um, I don't know what Anthony and I are doing for the Super Bowl just yet, <laughs> but I'm gonna take you along with me on my day. So I've been having a lot of acne. You see, you pretty bad breakouts. I had three pimple patches on last night. That's <laughs> mostly like this side of my face. Like, you feel like this on my face? Not too bad. And then this side. So I'm trying to take a break from makeup. I don't think I've put makeup on my face in the past week. We're just gonna continue that today. <laughs> a wedding in like three months. And I need my skin to try to clear up. So just focusing on washing my face every day. Not wearing makeup as much. I definitely need to clean my sponge and my, my brushes. Hopefully that helps as well. Here's my, my sweater. Cute from um, Shein. Be cute and comfy today. It is currently 38 degrees here, which is cold for, for Phoenix. <laughs> Alright, Miss the car. I had to run back upstairs because I forgot my bedazzler. But thankfully, Anthony is, is up there and the puppies would like to go sleep with him, so there was no barking. But the first stop of the morning is Target. We're gonna go, we gotta get cups, plates, and ready to go iced coffee. And then we're gonna go to Einstein's to pick up our brunch box and then head to the studio. That's our morning. Let's go. Look how cute these plates are that I found. The little heart cherries. <laughs> Look how big this brunch box is. <laughs> I've never actually been a part of like a brunch box at Einstein Bros, but I'm very excited to eat from this. It's got six different bagels, a tub of cream cheese, plain cream cheese, or schmear, I'll call it. Here. Like six hash browns, three different sandwiches cut in half, and like four blueberry muffins, I wanna say. I think it's gonna be a very tasty morning. It sounds funny to say, but like I know there's four people who can't make it this morning. And so like more food for us that are there. All right, and now we are en route to the studio. It says I should arrive exactly at nine o'clock, which is when we're supposed to be there. Although I think as an assistant who's like bringing food, I feel like I have a little leeway. But the fact that I would be there right on time, it's kind of cool when I got everything I needed. All right. Lego. <laughs> Why, how are you doing? That's tiny. For I, I post videos on YouTube, so if you want to be a part oh, of my video. Oh, <laughs> restart. restart. <laughs> so the bagels that are wrapped are like sandwiches. Right here. Let's see if this is currently caffeinating. <laughs> Hello, so oh, you took all the plates. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want to take a whole one. Wow. <laughs> Maybe I should. I'll rinse this one. Off, but yeah. <laughs> Wait. Oh. This one. Now y'all want to find all. Yes. <laughs> I have an oven mitt that says, I have a knife. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's like perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so apparently my camera memory is full, <laughs> so I didn't get very much footage while we were at burlesque rhinestoning, but it it was a lot of fun. It was just like girl time, putting rhinestones on bras. And we just got to like pick a piece that we're gonna, you know our sizing for what we're gonna wear for um, one of the numbers and then we got to rhinestone them ourselves 
and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do hearts on mine. And so I had to make the heart shape with the rhinestones. And if you've ever tried to rhinestone something, it is very tedious putting the rhinestones on. Even just getting them in place so you like them. And I finally got them in a place I like, and I tried to use like the hot thing. So some of the rhinestones have like glue on the back and then you use like the hot press and it melts the glue to make it stick. And I was trying to do it and my friend Tracy was also trying to use the same one and we just couldn't get it to work for us but like thank god it didn't work because after trying that and then I finally just got like the glue glue and I went to a glue a piece down and I looked at it and I was like it's inside out <laughs> so thankfully only one thing was glued and I just glued it so I was able to take it off no problem but I got four hearts on they're all sisters not twins they all look very different but I brought my little toolkit back home with me so i can finish rhinestoning it at home because i want to add more hearts to it but now i am at the studio where i'm going to have dance practice practice isn't for another hour so i'm going to read my book i started reading this yesterday and i i read 182 pages yesterday which is 53 percent of the book and I didn't start it until nighttime because I did a babysitting job and I started reading after the kid went down. So it's probably like 8 when I read the book. And then I also like read more when I got home. I didn't go to bed until like 1.20 in the morning. Because I just want to keep reading. And had I not had an early morning this morning, I would have stayed up all night to read it. So I'm going to get some reading done. I did grab another muffin to eat. So I'll probably eat this before practice. Super Bowl stuff. Super Bowl food. What'd we get? Show well, the We have our chicken Alfredo for tomorrow sitting out. We have the, we have the chicken with the honey barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Fantastic. And for our beautiful red meat intolerant Raylan, we have a half cheese. Yeah. And a pepperoni and sausage. Yum. A sausage made on your side. Hello friends, it is the next day. I just got to Target, so I have a few things on my list. One, we just need a few things around the house, some groceries. We ran out of toilet paper last night. And the second thing is I'm working an event this weekend. If you don't know, I do wedding and event content creation. My business is called Champagne Post. And this weekend, I am working with a couple of my other friends who are also small business owners. They are hosting a dance event that is very like women empowerment themed for Valentine's Day. So I will be there to capture content. And I learned today that the theme dress coat is white neutrals tan i don't have anything in those color schemes that i feel like would fit a dance based event so we're also going to see if we can find anything for that inside and then also i'm going to make a little like love basket for anthony for valentine's day back in october he made me a boo basket and it was just so cute and sweet and thoughtful he made it for me one just because he thought it'd be cute to do but also like i was in rehearsals for a show that was just about to open and started rehearsals for burlesque and i was working and having a hard time because um being in rehearsals and dancing a whole lot my leg was hurting a lot more and so i was just like also dealing with that which is a very nice thing he did for me and he has been working really hard lately he's been working overtime at his office job and then he's also been driving on the weekends to earn extra money for us just so that we can feel comfortable and especially with all of our expenses coming up and so i just want him to feel extra love and appreciated so i'm gonna find some things to make a little love basket for him and i'm really excited <laughs> oh my god <laughs> let's go inside target let's go look at my outfit it is a tried and true get stuff type of day <laughs> So my goal for my outfit is something white. I know it could be repurposed for like bridal things. But I think I want something like comfy and not so like dressy. I don't know. Okay, we found a couple options to try on. Um, this I just grabbed for fun. <laughs> but my goal is to try on these pants and then to see if any of these brown tops Look with it. I also have this one. So three different brown tops to try on. And then maybe like throwing this over it. I'm not sure. We're gonna try this. 
Okay, here's the first one. The pants fit really good. They fit nice, the color of them. And then it's top number one. I feel like it's a vibe. I think this definitely darker color works. I don't think, I think this color will look as good. I think the dark brown's the way to go. What do we think? Okay, I'm gonna try the long sleeve on. Okay, but the long sleeve with this is kind of a vibe. It's like a little pony, and then I get shoes like this color to, you know, sandwich. I think this is it. <laughs> One of the lights turned off in here, so it's a little darker, but I tried on the little dress. Um, it's cute, but um, I don't know. I don't like how the front lays, so it's a no. It's a no for me. First thing I got for Anthony for his alone basket is this book. It's one every time we go to a bookstore, he ties it, but he's never bought it for himself yet, so yeah, this is perfect. And also Target's having a buy one, get one 50% off. So of course, I'm getting me a book as well. <laughs> I thought the Valentine's Day section would have more like basket options, and there was none. It was so bare, so I gotta find a different basket alternative. You think so? Yeah. All right, so we are back home. It took me so long to find a basket. First off, there was no like cute Valentine's Day themed baskets. I looked in that like front section of Target, you know, that like really dangerous section, um, and they didn't have anything. And then the Valentine's Day section in the back was basically bare. Makes sense. It's like two days before Valentine's Day. So there was no Valentine's Day themed basket. So then I was like, all right, then I'll go the other route. But I wanted to get him a basket that he would use. Because when he got me a basket, I love it. I went and bought two more baskets just like it. And they're on my bookshelf. I love them and I use them. And so I wanted to be able to do the same thing for him. And I was walking around Target for <laughs> so long. But then I found this basket. It's black so it matches his desk and everything. I thought this would be a really good, it's like sturdy. And I thought it'd be really good for his books because he has books, the bookshelf, he has sh books on his dresser and on his desk. And then I just bought him another book. <laughs> And so I think he's running out of space, um, you know, because we live in a small apartment. Um, so I feel like this would be a good place to put books. And it does come with a lid. I didn't buy the lid. But you can get a bamboo lid to go on top. So keep them nice and safe. So I thought that was really cool. So let me show you what I got and then we'll put it all together. Because I did get him some little Reese's hearts this candle it's ocean air and moss cement it smells pretty really good and I originally had a different candle in my cart that I think maybe I like the smell better of but these ones have the wooden wick and it's a soy blend candle and he has other candles like this that he likes and he prefers the wooden wick candles so I wanted to get him this one it does smell good I just had a different one originally but it didn't have the wooden wick and I wanted to get him the kind he likes. I found this cute heart. Here, it's all like stuff the basket with it to make it all cute and Valentine's Day. Of course, we know I got him this book he's been really wanting. So, very excited for this one. I'm gonna try to get this sticker off. I got the sticker off. Yay! I was really worried. So, there was like three copies left of this book, and like the font in the front had, um, of course, like the sales sticker on there, which you can take off. And then they had another one down here for like the, the TV show or the movie that they're making or whatever, but it was like on the book itself. And I was like, no, he doesn't like those. He avoids buying books with those stickers on them or those like printed on the cover. But then the book at the very back didn't have it. So perfect. And then I got him this super cute card. They're little coffees with googly eyes. <laughs> this one says strong, bold, hot. And then this one is sweet, complex, extra hot together with a perfect blend. Happy Valentine's Day. And then while I was at Fry's, I found 
classic little Coke in a glass bottle because everyone knows drinks taste better out of glass. So let's put it all together. Here it is. I love how it looks. It's so cute. I still have to write in his card, but I'll do that after. <laughs> it's so cute. And because I'm an impatient person, he's gonna get it today when he comes home from work. <laughs> it closed? Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> Can you open your eyes now? It's a love basket. <laughs> I love it! You got me yeah. babble! <laughs> yeah, I did! Holy shit! When did you give me babble? Today! <laughs> Where'd you go? Target! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! What? <laughs> That's sweet! I like this basket, love! Okay, okay, I gotta tell you. First off, it took me forever to find a basket. Why? But because there was no like Valentine's Day themed ones, and then I wanted one that was like practical for you. So I figured this might be a good book basket. And I didn't get it, but it does have like a bamboo lid, like lid, that oh, we can get for this. I see where a lid would go. Then. Yeah. It's Mama! a map! Yeah, what is hot? It's me? <laughs> yeah, it's you. Sweet, complex, and extra hot. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love. <laughs> the perfect blend. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I love it. Thank yeah. you. Did you get a book? Yes, three of these left. The front one ha also had like, for like the Did Netflix or oh. whatever it was that was like on the cover itself. And I was like, I can't get it. He doesn't like it. But this back one didn't it have did. it on there. Wait, so the front one had it printed on? Yeah, it was printed on the cover. The first two and books. Found and I found the one that didn't have it printed on. Love, I appreciate it. You know, that's why I didn't get the three body problem. I know. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.